All right, YouTube. This is a uh, another review. I know this is not outdoor stuff or camping or something like that. This is how I make a little extra money sometimes uh, doing uh, work for other people. Uh, I do have a full time job though. But, uh, this is a. Uh, I do a lot of carpentry, plumbing, and stuff like that. Two on the side. So I bought this. Uh, you can see it is a, a SDS drill, and it's a, a half inch. And it's an, an adapter. Yeah, this is a cool case it came in. I love this thing. Like mess with this fidget toy. No, not really. But uh this is the chuck key it come with. This is a ratcheting uh chuck by the way. I think I don't know. I've never seen a ratcheting one, but you know, I've seen keyless. This is not keyless, so uh if you don't know what uh SDS uh, bit is or anything. It's got these little grooves. This is one of the chisel bits. But uh, it's got that groove and it slides up and down in these channels uh, to uh, like it's got a uh, it's got the uh, the big it's got the drilling motion on it. It's got the uh, hammer drilling. It's got the hammer drilling. And it's got the position for the uh, chuck uh, or the, the thing up here. Put one in it and it will swivel to wherever you want it. Because you can get like, uh, what, what, what is it called? Uh, like kind of a little shovel for it and like you can sit there and you got it going in a clay and stuff for like under houses and stuff these are really good uh by the way uh but uh that's what that little symbol is it just puts it right over there and then it, it don't lock it or anything and then you'll just be able to sit there and turn your chisel what are you doing? This is the hammer function too. Uh, so it's a pretty, it's a pretty uh, good uh, function. Uh, I like it. I've used it on a couple jobs right now. I've used it on uh, uh, going through a forward block wall, and uh, I. Uh, also brick on one side of that so that was you know a block with concrete in the middle and then a block on top of that or not block but a, a brick it's got your reverse tube on it here so that's pretty cool that's what the, that's pretty much just for drilling though I mean you know uh, that's got your hanger By the way, this thing is not uh, really, uh, you can tell it's in quality. Except the case, I hate the case, but that's alright. But, uh, I'm not really, I'm not really uh, even giving a review on this. This thing's got enough views, I think, on YouTube. But, uh, I was really going for the chuck. <laughs> Long story short, short right. The uh, chuck is really heavily made. I mean, that is some. That's got to weigh about a pound. I'm saying, so you're getting a pretty good little hefty weight in the nose of this thing. But it probably will be better. Which I'm not really. You know, you're gonna be using the big bits. So you're not gonna be using anything small. You will break. I mean, you know, 
you're putting something probably even the size of, a, you know, I mean, just a, them little bitty bits or anything, even, even, you know, I don't know, even this a good pencil size, you know, you're not, you're probably not going to be putting that thing in here, and it's going to be just, I mean, eating it slap up, uh, it's going to be breaking them, I mean, you're going to be putting your big ogre bits, it's half inch in here, a half inch diameter, and to go through wood, big beams, stuff like that, steel, this thing would probably eat steel up crazy, I've not used this yet, I don't know how it's going to work, but I tell you, you dog buy some heft to this thing, and uh, you take this cullet, you pop it down like that, and it's and it free, freely spins. And you just let it go. By the way, this is made in Germany. So you know it, it's got to be pretty good for made in Germany. Uh, now, there are some cheaper ones. This one had the best review on it. A lot of them did not have this, uh, this robotized uh, dust guard. Um, but this thing, this thing will set you back about 50. It's, you know... I think it's well worth it because if you got this, you're going to be going through big stuff, you know. And I tell you what, them bits right there, and I don't think they actually make a wood coin bit. I'm not sure. I've not seen one. Somebody can tell me in the comments, though, uh, about the uh, the uh, other ones. They just, I mean, I've only seen these chisels. I mean, you know. By the way, these come from Harbor Freight. Go get them from Harbor Freight. Don't go get them from uh, Bosch. You're going to pay twice as much for them. I think I paid $17 for three chisels. That's the big one. The small one. And then that kind of stakey one. That, that staked one. Kind of rounded. I used that one quite a bit. That one's really good. Uh... But yeah, but now you can also put that in here. Uh, I don't recommend it though. Uh, they do not recommend these to be in the hammer mode, by the way. Uh, if you're going to use that for, if I'm going to use the hammer side, I'm just going to use the straight up drill. I'm not going to put that kind of wire and tire on this. Um on this uh chuck i mean you know you're gonna have to have a little bit of common sense on that i think that's where a lot of people are getting you know uh confused about i don't see it it's gonna be a lot more harder on this thing i mean yes i think this thing could maybe have the um have the uh capability to but I just wouldn't want to. I mean, why would I when I have that? And I'm probably, I mean, you're only going to be using probably uh, this for woodworking, the wood part or steel. I'm not going to be using the hammer to go through wood. You know, the hammer part to go through wood. It's just not, I, I don't see it. But people, people are giving these things bad reviews. I think because of that. So you can get one a little cheaper. You can get them a lot cheaper, actually. You can get them for like thirteen dollars. But now them did have a lot worse reviews. So I would get something good quality. I would not get the cheapest thing. But you know, maybe it's a little bit much for you. But this for right here, I always put though a little grease. That's something else that they do recommend putting on these shanks like this because that 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 there's a ball burn in there, and it will. Uh, sit there and uh sorry about that but it will sit there and it will uh when it goes in and out because it kind of slides in them them little places right there you can see a little grease on there now that i've got but you see them little them little divots in there it kind of slides up and down in there uh that's that's what the hammering part is uh but this is not really meant for hammering now is it this is just meant for drilling. As far as I'm concerned, I don't really say a lot about it in the thing, but, you know, I'm saying this is more for drilling 
Why would I want to need? Why I've already got the drilling port. I'll buy it. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's, uh, I mean, yeah, you do a half inch, three jaw, straight, you know, uh, straight shank. Uh, by the way, this is Bosch, too. Um, I don't know if you've seen that, but it's, uh, it's a good case, too. You can just tell, I mean, this thing, you can just tell the quality on this thing is... It's not your little cheap old plastic things that I'm going to be sitting here, you know, uh, throwing away about 20, you know, about two or three times I use it. This thing will probably last the drill. Probably last the drill. And that right there has, I mean, the, the machining on it is just so superb, which I think Bosch, Bosch has always been good. But, uh, now, uh, you can pick up hole saws and stuff for this thing. Um, it's got the carbide teeth on it. You can't really see that, but the carbide teeth one, you can get that. Then we're going to run, you're not going to run a lot of bigger Corbett's list thing probably. I mean, for what you're using it for, you're going to be using it for mostly just the bits. I'm, I'm, that's why I'm seeing it with this is only the eight point something uh, the eight point something uh, motor on here now they do have the more compacted version it's a lot bigger and, you know you can get the F, the, the uh, plus version the max version this is the plus though this ain't the max which I mean that thing you know you can get one that's got the uh, thing, but you can't find them really at the Home Depot and Lowe's as much. Um, I think you can order them online and get them shipped, but you know, as far as that goes, that's what they're going to have in store. They're going to have the, the smaller shanked ones. This is the definitely the smaller shanked. Uh, like I said, though, uh, if you ain't got a hard freight, you're gonna be paying a lot of money for these right here. I think some of these are like twenty some bucks a piece. So that's that's a good little chunk for just one uh, thing. You get them on Amazon too. I think you get all set for like thirty bucks. It's not bad. It comes with even more. They do make some uh like, that, like I said the shovel ones for doing the clay. You know they work good. It's got all the dust collection thing and all. You can get all that. But uh, I've not tried the the the, the, the Bosch's uh, bits with it, so I'm just like Harbor Freight all the way because they're so much cheaper. And my uh, my my pocketbook just don't want to spend that much money on a thing unless it's a specific thing because. Um, Usually they might not have the longer bits there for the thing, so they do have the bigger drills that are hard freight. I don't like their drills. I've went through one of myself. My brother-in-law had one. He wound up taking his back because he actually used his right away, and I didn't. And his already warranty was run out, so don't buy the Bauer or whatever it is, the red one. It's a piece of junk. Um, in my opinion. Now, that I only got the hammer drill. It's actually just got the chuck on it. I didn't get the big version like this, but I was like, well, if I'm going to go ahead and spend the money on this, then I'm going to definitely get the, uh, I'm going to definitely get the, the better of the version because I've already spent so much on small drills. Uh, they do have the, uh, the DeWalt is probably in comparison to this. Some people like the DeWalt better. I don't know. I've got DeWalt other tours. I like them. But this one was on sale. So that's what I got. And also, uh, I went ahead and got corded, as you can see. Uh, with that being said, though, 
I wouldn't necessarily, if I had the opportunity to get it, because I'm not using this thing all the time, I would probably go ahead, if I was on a job site, probably go ahead and get the one that was battery operated. I mean, you can do so much more with them. But, I don't have this set up for Bosch. So, it's kind of hard for me to sit there and say, okay, I'm going to go ahead and spend the money on the Bosch, which is uh, ones that uh, has just the batteries. So, and just have that just specifically for this. Because I'm just a home DIYer. I do it a little bit for, you know, for more or less family. And then I've got, you know, there's some people that ask me every once in a while because they know me I'm kind of trustworthy and I just kind of do it really cheap for them. Uh, anything I do like plumbing and uh, stuff. So it's kind of, you know, one of them things. I'm not doing this for a living living per se, but I do it for, you know, make a lot of extra money and to help people. So with that being said though, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, buy something and, like, get the biggest version I can and then be like, well, I'm never going to use it five times and it sits in the back of my van for, you know, two, three years and it's like, okay, well, I hadn't used it and I spent almost like three or four hundred dollars, you know. It's, it's, this, this one's got its place in my, in my... In my, in my instances, you know. Uh, well, I like the other version. Yeah, it'd be nice. Batteries are awesome. I love them. But then at the end of the day, I can't sit here and spend another $200 on just batteries for this thing. Because then you'd want to get a couple batteries for it. And that just don't happen. I mean, in the real world, world to me, I'm not using it. I would definitely go ahead and get something for DeWalt, though. Um, I was going to try to get it, but the one they had at Lowe's at the time was very light duty, and it, I was like, I don't want to really mess around with something light duty like that, and then wish I didn't, because I actually, I mean, I do a lot of work, it's just more of a, kind of a hobbyist, try to just help people out, I mean, you know, I do a lot of stuff for my folks. And then uh, I've got a ton of stuff around here I gotta do. I've gotta put six inch pipe through some block walls. Uh, I've got to do uh, some uh, masonry stuff for my building when I'm starting to build it. Uh, when I do it, it might be a while though. Prices are just out of astronomical right now. And I'm so backed up on everybody else's stuff, I'm just like, you know, it's crazy. But, uh, I really do, I think this is a good setup. I think if this was not like this, though, if they didn't have this attachment, I probably would not have bought it because it does not do whole saws and stuff that well. So I'm like, you know, I need something that does whole saws. Because, uh, you know, there's always that, you know, I can do the masonry whole saws with it. And they're not as, nowhere near as much as uh, the ones that's proprietary to this. So, that's what we try to do at my brother-in-law's. And, and it worked very well, but it was uh, also just, I mean, you can go through two, three hole saws when you mess with that kind of stuff. It's just supposed to wet and stuff, I understand. But, uh, get it, you know, cool it down. I mean, so... That's my take on it. Uh, I'll let you see the, the manual. If you want to see the parts numbers and all that stuff. That's kind of what it looks like. This is some of the stuff you can buy from the attachments. I don't know. I know it's OSHA approved and all that mess. Some... You know, at the end of the day, I'm just like, okay. And this thing did not overheat or did not heat up very much at all. I like that, too. Uh, I don't know if it's just got that, you know, I don't know if they 
Bosch has just got everything down right low when it comes to some of these things. This is a tried and true model. It really is. I mean, you know, they're, you're buying a Bosch, you're probably going to have it for the rest of your life. Or nearly, you know, with very good care. That's why you grease the, the, the bits in this thing. They, they, they uh, if I ever do break it or something, I'll try to make a, uh, a video how to replace this. It's very stupidly simple. You take that shroud off, and then you take, uh, take, uh, uh, them little, uh, things. It's got the little, uh, you know, opens up. It's got, like, the little hook like that kind of ordeal. And it just sits there and it takes that oil ring you just open it up and then, you know, take the, take the, uh, couple of the washers out and then you place the ball. That's usually what happens to these things when they quit working. Because I think it's, you're, you're putting a lot of force. I mean, you are putting a lot of force on them, uh, them detent right there. And it's, I mean... You know, for what it's worth, it's all right. But I'll be using this thing for all my really bigger projects. I mean, yes, I've got cordless DeWalt stuff. It's fine. But this is the the big house and for when I'm needing something to go through more concrete. And I've got some stuff, some floor and stuff. I've got to drill some, uh, some uh, holes through some rock. Because it used to be old patio that's attached to my house and it's my living room now. I've got to put uh, slats down for it and then put uh, plywood down so I can get leveled up or to put uh, my floating floors on it or I put hardwood floors. I still got to put down something for base and that's going to be in the future a little bit too where I got the stuff but it's just one of the things I've got so much other stuff to do when it's when I, you know. Just one of the things. But yeah, I hope this kind of helps. This just makes the best of this tool. Uh, I would I would suggest getting one. Uh, if you're going to be using it a lot, I mean, for beams, all that, you know, anything bigger and heavier, because I don't want to just go buy proprietary drill you know just for doing stuff like that I've got a small one it's not a half inch and it's a very cheap one but it's probably it's pretty good I've never had any trouble with it but it's you know it is you know it's, it's limited uh, this one I know it won't be this thing it will be good it's supposed to have like, you know, it's, it's, it's supposed to be the real deal though. It's supposed to be real good. So, we'll see. I mean, we'll just see. If I have any complaints or anything, the only biggest complaint with it is that the uh, case, the case is junk, in my opinion. You can kind of, you can even see right there in the case, it's just for the drill was. Well, this barrel laid up on it, it kind of turned a little bit of light blue and it kind of bent over and the dang plastic hinges on it. I see it there, it's old red hinges and there's kind of, you know, there. But I like it. I mean, I bought it for the drill. I did not buy it for the, uh, you know, for the case. But uh, if I didn't already say it, I don't mind. But it was $199 for the uh, drill, $50 for that, $17 for the dam. And then in my work van, I've got some uh, drill bits that's vegetary for this setup. So, if you like it, subscribe to my channel. I do a little bit of videos. I'm trying to do some more. Like I said, I'm just so backed up on work. It's just crazy. I mean, there's just so much stuff to do. I could probably go for four or five months and probably not sleep and not do anything else but support. Just around my house, my parents' house, and Burlow's house, and 
uh, you name it. I, I can do it, and I've got some friends at work, and some uh, elderly people I work for and stuff, and do. It's like crazy. <laughs> but I hope this really helps you. If you got any questions, I'll try to make a demo version if uh, anybody wants me to. Uh, I might report back, and if anything does happen to this, I will, like I said, make a video. Uh, but that thing's so heavy. Germany, too. Germans make good stuff. You know they do. I think that's what Bosch has kind of implemented. I think this version, this one is made in China, but the, the truck is made in Germany. So, have a wonderful uh, work week, whatever you're doing. And, like always, God bless you. And, uh, by the way, if you can see my hat. Yeah, right there you go. If you got him, you know it. So, always stay, stay positive, stay wonderful, and know, know who's in control. Thank you. God bless you.